Boeing CEO David Calhoun said he has decided to step down from the company at the end of the year. His decision comes three months after an Alaska Airlines door panel blew out mid-air on the 5th of January. Calhoun had been under intense pressure from the regulators since this incident, even though he said the decision to leave the company was his own. The head of the company's commercial airplanes unit, Stan Deal, has quit with immediate effect and is replaced immediately by the COO, Stephanie Pope. The board chairman, Lawrence Kellner, whose term ends in May, won't stand for re-election. Steve Molenkoff, former CEO of tech giant Qualcomm, will be Boeing's new board chairman, succeeding Kellner. Molenkoff will also oversee the search for a new CEO. Now, what led to this major shake-up in the management of Boeing? The 737 MAX narrow-body plane is Boeing's best-selling plane. In India, Air India Express, Spicejet and Akasa Air fly this plane. Despite the popularity, 77 MAX has also been Boeing's problem child. Now, David Calhoun had been uh, a director at Boeing's board since 2009. He was appointed as the CEO in January 2020, replacing Dennis Muhlenberg, who was fired in the aftermath of the two tragic plane crashes involving 77 MAX planes. Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 were the two uh, plane crashes in five months that had killed 346 people in 2018 and 2019. Now, this had hit Boeing's reputation and the planes were grounded for two years by the US aviation regulator. Now, when David Calhoun took over as CEO, he had a tough task to get the popular plane returned to the skies. And he did succeed in bringing the 77 MAX back to its production lines in late 2020 by convincing regulators that the plane is safe to fly again. Boeing had started receiving orders from airlines worldwide and it had a packed order book. Boeing's board seemed very happy with Calhoun and raised the mandatory retirement age for the CEO from 65 years to 70 just days after David turned 64. But things started turning downwards again with Boeing detecting a series of manufacturing flaws in the plane in 2023. And what shocked everyone was the Alaska Airlines episode on the 5th of January when a door plug panel blew off mid-flight. Investigations have found that bolts that help keep the panel in place were missing after repair work at a Boeing factory. Now, many airlines, including Alaska Air and Ryanair, had to cut flights as a result of safety inspections that were carried out in the wake of this mid-air mishap, which could have turned disastrous. Last week, the Wall Street Journal reported that a group of CEOs from major US-based airlines requested a meeting with Boeing's board to express concerns over production problems. Boeing's stock has suffered a 24% decline since the Alaska Airlines incident. These issues have also led to added scrutiny to airlines across the world that have 77 MAX in their fleet.